everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I'm gonna show you how to make these really, really easy treat holders. Um, I'm using the Best Witches stamp set uh, along with the mini pocket die. This is from the annual catalog. This is from our holiday catalog. Um, I have a whole supply list on my blog, so click the link here on YouTube to go over there and check it out. And I have done all of them a little bit different. Here is the original. You can see I've colored my little witch. Um, we've added a little tag, little bat from the scary silhouettes, and these little witch Kit Kats fit in here perfectly. Um, this one, I used one of our die cut pumpkins with the little toad. This one, let's see, here's another one with the witch. This time I just used a banner and the uh, circle, both from Stylish Shapes. We colored her face green. Isn't that funny? Like from Wicked. And then this one is the one that we are going to make today. This one uses the witch hat builder, which I just love. Okay, let me just show you how easy this is. We're going to use a piece of our black and white design series, designer series paper to cut out the pocket. This whole pack of paper is black and white geometric patterns. So any of the paper from this pack would work perfectly. So if you're going to make a whole bunch of these, just get a pack of this paper and you can go to town cutting out this mini pocket. And voila there we have it there is no scoring needed everything is trimmed already for you you want to take the little um score lines and burnish them and you can use any kind of adhesive you want i'm going to use our tear and tape because it's right about the, the right width of that tab so i'm going to put that on there you can tear it and Put some down here. These little pockets, I think, are designed probably for gift cards, but they work great for other things too. Now I'm gonna take my, take your pick tool to get that paper off like that. And then if you have a little bit of adhesive hanging over like I do, I just fold that down into the other adhesive like that. All right, so fold those in, and then you're just gonna fold it over like that. And there you have it, and your little candy will go right in there. Perfect. Now let's make our little tag. We've got a basic black uh, stylus shape circle, and I'm gonna rub it with my embossing buddy to get all that static cling off of there. And then I'm gonna take Versamark and the stars, and I'm just gonna stamp the stars all the way around the edge. You can't see them right now because this ink is clear, but as soon as I put on that embossing powder, you'll see them. Okay, this is our gold embossing powder. And we'll sprinkle that on. And there you have it. Can you guys see those stars? Now they're they're dull right now. They're kind of dull looking. So we're gonna take our heat tool. If I can dig it out over here. <laughs> and we're gonna turn that on. I'm gonna use my little uh, reverse tweezers. These This is from our uh, embossing accessory kit. And it has the tweezers, it has the embossing buddy, a tray, and a brush to brush off any uh, little powder that might be sticking where you don't want it. It's a great little tool set to have if you emboss. The, the little reverse tweezers are gonna hold it. It's gonna keep you from burning the, your fingerprints off your fingers because it gets very, very hot. Okay, now nice and shiny, right? Okay, so we're going to punch out, if I can get my paper, we're going to use the Hat Builder Punch, and we're going to punch out our hat. Okay, it also punches out the band and these cute little stars, but for the hat band, I am going to use some of our um, Parakeet Party Glimmer Paper, okay? And we'll put that on with just liquid glue. 
use my little take your pick tool to pick it up because my nails make it difficult. All right, let's set that there to dry. We aren't using the witch for this one. This is like really simple. We're going to keep it simple um, because we've got a lot of these to do. You know, if you're making these for a party or whatever, you're going to need a lot of them. And coloring just the frog is going to keep it simple. All right, stamp him in memento black on basic white. Grab your parakeet party stamp and blends. I'm going to start with my light. And I'm just going to color him. He's got attitude, this little frog. You see his face? He's not thrilled to be wherever he's at. <laughs> Which is funny because the little witches that are in this set are so cute and sweet and smiling. All right, I'm going to add some dark kind of right there between where his legs are bent and then down here at the bottom. Give him a little bit of shading. Now, these don't have dyes. I know, but that's okay. We'll go old, old school with our scissors and cut them out. Get your paper snips. These are Stampin' Up's little scissors. They are perfect for this. They're gonna get real close and they're small and nice and sharp. And we're gonna just cut around. And I like to stay on the outside of the white line, leaving just a little kind of a thin, white border. That way I don't cut off any of those black lines and then it looks kind of uneven. He's got eyebrows, but we're cutting those, those babies off. We can't keep those on. They're not attached. No one will ever know. Now you could also, if you don't want a fussy cut, you can cut him out with a small circle die or punch and it would be just as cute. Okay, now last but not least, I have this little um, stitched banner from the Stylish Shape dies, and we're gonna stamp, if you got it, haunt it on the right side like that. And we're gonna layer all of these up with dimensionals. We're gonna take one right here, and we'll put our hat like that. Now look, over here I did my hat the other way, facing the other way. It doesn't matter. Do it however you want. And we'll put him right there. I have cut out two of these little Rich Razzleberry bats from the Scary Silhouette dies. Rich Razzleberry is the purple I felt was closest to the purple on this the package of these... Um, which Kit Kats, I'm gonna fold this a little bit. Let's see if I can do this without making a mess. I want them to kind of be flying around. Well, now we've got a problem. <laughs> He's got glue all over him. Well, so much for that. That's all right. This is what I wanted to do. Fold it like that, set it down in that glue. Oh, this one's just made a huge mess. That's all right. Nobody's looking, right? They're looking at where, where's the candy? What's, what is in here? Is it chocolate? I want it. Okay, put that right there. And then grab your parakeet party, shimmer ribbon, metallic ribbon is what it's called. And I folded it in half so that I have two pieces and I'm tying a bow. It's a little fuller, it's got two pieces, okay? like that see how fun that is and then if you have dimension or glue dots which i don't seem to have you can put that on with glue dots but since ours is missing and i've already made a mess with the glue we'll just do that how cute okay add them on with a couple of dimensionals and you're done these would be great party favors trunk or treat you know, just make it a little more fun. Well, that's gonna need to be, you know what you guys, here's a little trick. Get a clothespin and hold it on until it's dry. 
<laughs> okay, there you go. Now you see why I like glue dots the best. Um, have fun with these. Hop back to my blog. I've got two other Best Witches projects for you. And happy Halloween. Let me know if you have questions. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.